Some types in Rust are called copy types, and these are the uh, the really simple types. Uh, you have like integers and uh, booleans and things like that. And these uh, <clears throat> these types are so so simple and so small that there is uh, no reason not to not to make copies when you when you pass them into a function. And you uh, you'll remember uh, a few videos ago we looked at uh, passing in a string which is an owns type. And when it uh, when the function took it, it, uh, it died inside the function. And we had to, uh, to pass in a reference or, uh, you know, you can make a, a clone or something like that. <clears throat> but a copy type is, uh, is so small that, uh, that it doesn't matter, it won't die. And I'll show you, uh, before we look at how that works, uh, I want to show you how you can, you can tell if something is copy. So if something implements copy, it means it uh, it can use it or it has this uh, this power and you can uh, you go to the uh, the documentation here rustlang.org and on the side for uh, like this is a chart this is also a uh, a copy type and you go to these trait implementations and that means um, you know traits are like powers so what can uh, what can this type do it can uh, you know it can clone itself it can copy itself. Uh, it can uh, debug print. It can display. This means it can uh, just you can print it just using the uh, using the curly brackets and uh, you know a whole bunch of other things you can uh, you can compare and so on. So if you want to know if a type is copy, you go to trait implementations and you look for it and you can see it there. And so you can see what I just showed you. You can copy it. You can display it. You can. Uh, debug print it. So the example here, let's just uh, copy it over. So remember uh, when we had a string, this was, uh, you know, when we when we called the function two times, it, uh, <clears throat> it caused the variable to die because it, uh, you know, it moved it over to here and then it, uh, it didn't pass it back. But uh, eight is a copy or an i32 is a uh, copy type. And so uh, it's so small that it just sends in it sends in a copy. It uh, there's no problem with uh, with sending in a copy every time. So there's no there's no reason not to send a copy because there's no uh, there's no change in performance. And um, so that's just like a a convenience. Uh, copy types uh, that's the way they work. And then uh, you know string. If you look at string, you can go down to the implementations, trait implementations, and you can see string is clone, but it's not copy. And clone means that you can, uh, that you can make a, uh, hold on a second. There you go. So yeah, we'll start with, uh, with this uh, example. So we're printing a country again. And this time, instead of uh, Austria, we're going with uh, Kiribati. And then uh, you know this will uh, this will not work because it uh, because a string is an owned type and it's not copy. And now we can understand uh, we can understand the compiler message. So last time we saw country has type string, which does not implement the copy trait. And now we know that uh, does not implement the copy trait means it does not have the power to copy. And so what you do with uh, with something like this? is you can, uh, of course, you can pass in a reference. We saw that, but you can also, you can also do this, <clears throat> clone. And then it will make a, uh, a clone and pass in the clone. And, uh, you know, country will still be around. And then if we do this again, um, you know, now it's actually going into the function and it's going to die there. So if you want to use it a third time, you have to clone it again. And you can see, that clone is uh, it's convenient, um, but uh, you don't want to clone all the time when you have like really, really large strings. You want to you know, think of other ways to, uh, to do that, such as uh, references. <clears throat>